So the question is, when should you get a building and pest inspection done on a property that you're looking to purchase? And in my view, um, you should always get it done prior to entering into a contract when you're actually in a position when you can do that. But I'm also aware that in some cases you just can't. So for example, if it's a really fast moving market or a property that's proven to be very, very popular um, and the agent just wants to move on it very quickly, um, quite often you're not in a position where you can actually get a building and pest inspection done prior to entering into a contract. So in that case, it's important to make sure it is a condition of the contract, but more importantly, make sure the wording of the clause is very much in your favour. So this is where you'd want to get a solicitor or a conveyancer to actually help you with the wording um, because you want to actually make sure that the building and pest inspection is done that is satisfactory to the purchaser, not sort of some minor or vague clause that gives the uh, you own a very little scope to let you out of the contract. So you want to protect yourself and in my view making sure that the wording is right is uh, absolutely critical and number one. Um, if you're looking to buy at auction, it's just non-negotiable that you get the building, uh, the building and pest inspection done prior to even turning up on the day because if you are the successful buyer under the hammer, you are unconditional, there's no turning back. It's not as if you can find out later on down the track that there was an issue and start negotiating because it's too late. So that's the number one uh, time when it's just non-negotiable. It's absolutely essential that if you're going to buy a property at auction that you get the building and pest inspection done prior uh, to turning up on the day. Now with a building and pest inspection it's important that it's independent. So in some cases I've seen situations where the owner or the real estate agent has got one done and they're making that available to prospective purchasers. But in my view, um, whilst it could be free, um, I think it's important that you spend the money and get an independent building and pest inspection done yourself. It's just so you've got the peace of mind. Just so you know that everything has been disclosed um, that could be material uh, for you in terms of making the decision to buy that property. So in terms of material, that's an important point because you need to realise that a building inspector is going to tell you everything that is wrong, with this, absolutely everything. And you need to have the ability to discern between what's material and what's actually immaterial or non-material in nature. So examples of material are there's termites all over the joint or the place is going to fall down. There are obviously reasons why you wouldn't want to go ahead with the purchase. But non-material things are, you know, a, a crack in the tile in the bathroom or the taps leaking. And you've got to think to yourself, that's not a deal breaker, but that might just be some leverage to help me negotiate better terms or better prices. So uh, it's important to distinguish between material and non-material. And the final thing I'd say is if you're actually buying a brand new house, you can obviously have high expectations on what you should be, you know, should be getting because everything's brand spanking new and shiny. But if you're buying an old home, um, you have to be realistic that the property's probably been around for 50 or 100 years in some cases. And you know, you've got to be realistic that some things are probably going to be wrong. So again, that, that distinguishing between what's material and what's non-material is really important when you're actually reading these reports on the building and pest inspection that you do get from the inspector. So I guess the number one takeaway here is wherever possible, um, you should always get an independent building and pest inspection done prior uh, to entering into a contract.